was to increase the relevance of our relationships with our consumers, the role of our advisors, the, and the, you know, candidly, the role in the societies uh, we serve. And insurers traditionally are in the protection space, and health in Asia is more wellness and health, the combination of the two being more of a continuum than two categories. So we wanted to move into prevention, we wanted to move into postponement, and as you st start in the, uh, the introduction, uh, health inclusion and wealth inclusion are two things we thought we could have a material impact on in the markets we serve. Um, what changed, I think, to uh, uh, your question is <clears throat> there was a material shift in policy, in consumer behavior, in openness of doctors uh, and medical providers to participate in, in, in the digital elements of health. Uh, and I think the, you know, we, we were originally targeting illnesses when we launched in Malaysia November of last year with uh, like uh, pre uh, prevention of dengue fever. Uh, COVID wasn't yet on the scene, but the core infrastructure we built for it, I think, uh, as you, well, you've seen, we have almost 12 million down, we have uh, 12 million downloads now of Pulse. It, it's, it is, it's uh, accelerated by, by COVID. The COVID's been an event that's increased uh, you know, obviously health awareness and the, and the demand for policy and, and tools that address it. Yeah, remarkable timing to have a healthcare app when we're having a global health pandemic. But obviously, um, COVID has driven customers to come to the app, but you've also been smart around the way that you've tried to market the app with free COVID insurance. Tell us a little bit more about the incentives that you've offered in different countries. Yeah, so we, we sat down with, uh, you know, normally when, when I travel through uh, Asia, you know, a, a part of my uh, normal calendar would be to see a, the Minister of Finance and there's some of the other political leaders in the country. Now we include the, we work with the health ministries of these countries and they all have the same challenge, which is scarcity of resource. Um, and that can be, again, numbers of doctors, number of, of, uh, of nurses. Uh, you know, the, you have some incredible statistics in that space and growth. I mean, China added 3 million nurses. Uh, you know, it was extended life expectancy uh, by a decade in the last, you know, 10 plus years. But it's still the physical infrastructure for uh, medical service provision is low. And the, the complexity of it is high in every country. Um, you know, I, as you mentioned, I'm in the United States today. If someone gets sick in your family here, navigating the medical infrastructure in a hospital and navigating the bills and the insurance payments is an incredibly complex role. So what we wanted to do was give people easy introductions to it. So you saw things in COVID like, uh, as you said, on the uh, Pulse, free protection. Um, you saw us do uh, uh, in, in Singapore, for example, we did, if you were quarantined, uh, um, some cash payments per if you're one of our clients so that you had access to to cash if you're worried about your job we've deferred payments on policies and contracts in cities like Hong Kong where unemployment has shifted uh, from you know effectively zero to call it two percent to to in some sectors 17. Um, those sorts of things are taking a responsible role I think in our in in the societies we're in to say look there's things we can do to help and at our scale in these markets, we're one of the largest health providers in Asia, one of the largest insurers in Asia. Even though we did a lot with charities, we could immediately do a lot with our own customer base. And of course, as I mentioned, you know, with, with Pulse, we could add 12 million clients you know, in a very short period of time, in addition to what our agency and bank channels could do. So we just saw it as things that had impact to give somebody exposure to the seg segment, introduction to the segment, um, and an idea of healthcare and how health protection works. And of course, the app has a variety of things on it now that are uh, on wellness. You know, there's, there's, we're addressing all sorts of things from, uh, uh, you know, your, your, your diet, your exercise, all the things you would expect on a, on a mobile app on, on wellness, and then quite a few clever things on long-term illness. And, and as technology is evolving in the space, you know, there's a, a wrinkle index that can measure, you know, health by wrinkles or from a, from a selfie. And there's a variety of, uh, can calculate body mass index and things. These are a little gamification uh, like tools, but they're extremely popular with consumers. And so again, we continue to, uh, to, to use those to get people to live healthier and be exposed to the kinds of services that are available.